This presentation examines the concept of critical infrastructure and key resources, known as CIKR. CIKR are often highly interdependent, meaning that if one type of critical infrastructure fails, others that rely on it will also be at risk. Consider the following hypothetical scenario. A bridge provides transportation access to a hospital. A water main and electric power transmission line are attached to the bridge. Suppose that the bridge collapses, disrupting the supply of water and power to the hospital. This is a not unlikely scenario, one that could happen. One might imagine that the hospital has backup generation and will call for fuel supplies from a local provider. But if that provider runs an electric pump and receives power from the same substation, then the contingent fuel supply might also be disrupted. Similarly, contingent water supplies that require the bridge for access will be unavailable to the hospital as it attempts to provide its life-saving function to the community. We rely on CIKR every day, from emergency services, to food and agriculture, to energy and fuel, to government services. Protecting and sustaining this critical infrastructure is the responsibility not only of the federal government, but also of state and local governments. Furthermore, a majority of CIKR is privately owned and operated. Therefore, federal, state, and local governments must be able to work with the private sector. To review, infrastructure protection is complicated by the interdependencies of CIKR, as well as the presence of diverse owner-operators from the private and public sphere. Only through public-private partnership at all levels of government will we be able to best protect and secure the nation's CIKR. The complex nature of critical infrastructure and key resources, or CIKR, requires an organized approach to infrastructure protection. The federal government and the Commonwealth of Virginia have established documents that define this organized approach. The National Infrastructure Protection Plan, or NIPP, is the governing document for infrastructure protection at the national level. The Virginia Plan governs infrastructure protection at the state level. It is modeled on the NIPP. The Virginia Plan, like the NIPP, defines goals and objectives, establishes authorities, roles, and responsibilities, describes risk management programs, describes ways of organizing and partnering between different government entities and the private sector, and reviews ways of integrating with the larger Homeland Security mission and ensuring a sustainable program. The Virginia Plan, like the NIPP, defines 18 CIKR sectors in order to deal with the interdependent nature of critical infrastructure. Each sector delivers an important service. Together, they allow our way of life. Part of the establishment of roles and responsibilities in the NIPP and the Virginia Plan is the creation of sector-specific agencies, or SSAs. At the federal level, each SSA is a government agency. The SSAs coordinate with private CIKR owners and operators, and they create sector-specific plans, or SSPs, to identify sector priorities, enable secure information sharing, and develop and implement CIKR protection programs. Sector-specific agencies work the same way at the state level. State agencies are designated as SSAs for each CIKR sector, and in addition, a state secretariat is appointed to each sector. Local governments are organized differently than the state and federal government. Therefore, Organization for infrastructure protection at the local level may not follow the sector-specific agency model. While the way that local communities organize for infrastructure protection will be different, their job is the same. Local communities must decompose the problem of CIKR protection, either through a sector approach or some other model. And they must assess and manage risks to CIKR. Doing so will allow local communities to utilize their strengths. 
adaptability, and local knowledge to help protect their own critical infrastructure and key resources. Risk analysis is an important part of critical infrastructure protection. Risk is a measure of the probability and severity of adverse consequences. Risk analysis contains three steps. Risk assessment, risk management, and risk communication. Risk assessment is accomplished by answering the questions, what can go wrong? What is the likelihood? What are the consequences? And what is the time frame? Information sharing through public-private partnerships helps answer these questions. Risk management of critical infrastructure includes increasing resilience, increasing redundancy, and decreasing the vulnerability of CIKR. When managing risk, the time frame drives the effectiveness of policy decisions. Before an event, preparedness efforts reduce the likelihood of severe consequences. During an event, response efforts attempt to mitigate immediate consequences. After an event, recovery efforts work to return the community to pre-event conditions. Time underlies the relationship between preparedness, response, and recovery. Time also underlies the effectiveness of investments in each phase. For example, investing more money in preparedness requires spending less in response and recovery. Likewise, Investing fewer dollars in preparedness requires more spending for response and recovery. The NIPP and the Virginia Plan focus on preparedness in the form of critical infrastructure protection. Risk communication is the process of sharing information between private and public sector stakeholders through public-private partnership. These partnerships are key to the success of CIKR protection. This diagram shows the risk management framework used in the NIPP and the Virginia Plan for infrastructure protection. As you read the Virginia Plan, you will become familiar with this framework. The framework sets measurable goals and objectives, identifies CIKR assets and systems, performs risk assessment, prioritizes CIKR assets, implements CIKR protection programs, and measures the effectiveness of those protection efforts. The risk management framework must be a continuous improvement process. In summary, organizing and partnering is crucial for CIKR protection. If we can promote successful critical infrastructure protection at the local level, we will be able to accomplish the goals laid out in the NIPP and the Virginia Plan for safer, more secure, and more resilient communities and a more secure nation. Thank you.